uh, introduce you to this um, 1948 TA14 saloon by Molina, body coach work by Molina. Uh, and this, this car is well known to me. Um, I've sold it previously and it is owned locally and I've seen it at quite a few uh, events locally, so it's, it's used regularly. Immediately following the war, Alvis were keen to bring out a new model. The TA14 was announced in 1946 based on the pre-war 1270 using tooling that had survived the Coventry Blitz. With increased power and additional space, the car would run on available pool petrol and offered Alvis quality, quality at a more modest price. Some 3,213 were produced, various styles, and around 583 remain. This car was dispatched from the works on the 14th of May 1948 to Abbey Service Garage Nuneaton uh, and it included some extras uh, with a rev counter and bonnet locks. It has had four previous owners and the current owner was an Alvis employee from 1960 until it closed in 1999 and subsequently worked for Red Triangle and in fact still works today on an occasional basis. Now nearing 80 years old, he is a devout Alvis enthusiast and he has already undertaken a number of improvements to the car, uh, but it has had a lot of work prior to his ownership. Our records show in January 1986 it was for sale with a rebuilt engine, rewired and having a restored body. More recently, it has had extensive mechanical work around three years ago at a cost that is more than the current asking price of the car. It starts on the button, runs very well, and is always much admired. Retains its original color scheme of black and ivory, and more recently been re-trimmed in gray leather, uh, and other jobs have been carried out, including uh, refinishing to the dashboard. Uh, the owner has asked us to point out that it isn't perfect, but it's in very good general condition, in regular use, and it's been reluctantly offered for sale. It can be seen here at Kenilworth by appointment. Uh, this engine is the um, 1892 cc engine, uh, long stroke four cylinder engine uh, and with a single carburetor produces around 65 brake horsepower so it's good for 74 75 miles an hour. Um, it's a well set up engine this one and the current owner has been very pleased with its uh, performance and reliability. We've got a quite heavy and very solid boot lid on these and this one is very clean inside as you can see uh, and you've got a nice little um, compartment here which houses a quite a, um, a well-fitted tool roll which is very useful. 